Hello everyone. I am Dr. Dhuvajyoti Mondol and my channel name is Topics in Chemistry. Please subscribe my channel. I will discuss different topics of chemistry in this channel. So please subscribe my channel to get latest notification. Hello everyone. Uh, today our lecture name is Phase Diagram of two component system. So this is part 8 lecture of phase equilibrium. So already I have discussed phase diagram of one component system. For example, if you consider water, we say one component system, carbon dioxide, sulfur. So I have discussed all these three types of phase diagram of one component system. Now you have to know what is the phase diagram of two component system. So here you have to consider two component. For example, sodium potassium. Here you can see it consists of two component, sodium and potassium. You can consider FeCl3 water system. You can consider lead silver system. So all are two component system. Here the composition of all phases is expressed in terms of two substances. Now you know the rule, degree of freedom, that is, is equal to F is equal to C minus B plus 2. And you know that C is equal to the number of component, B is equal to number of phase. And if you consider a two component system, you can say that C is equal to here is equal to 2. And you can say that the minimum number of phase that is equal to 1. So if P is equal to 1, then if you put the value of c2 here p is equal to 1 you can get f is equal to 3 so the maximum number of degrees of freedom is 3 thus you can say that the two component system consists of three variables so that variables are pressure temperature and concentration now if you plot pressure temperature concentration curve in this curve so you can say you can see here that it is a three-dimensional model. So this is highly complicated diagram. So now as you see, this is a highly complicated diagram. You have to consider a diagram of two variables. So you can say that we can draw three diagrams of two variables from the three variables that is pressure, temperature and concentration. Okay, so here you have to draw a two-dimensional curve. Here you, you have to avoid the three-dimensional curve. That's why among these three variables, you can draw three diagrams. So what are those three diagrams? You can see here pressure versus concentration diagram. Here temperature is constant. It is pressure versus temperature diagram. Here concentration is constant. And another curve, here you can see temperature versus concentration diagram, here pressure is constant. So three diagrams are possible, first case temperature constant, second case concentration constant, and third case pressure constant. Now among the three diagrams, actually the diagram three is the only possibility because you can say that as the atmosphere pressure is constant, because the atmosphere pressure you know that that is equal to one atmosphere so only you have to consider this diagram temperature versus concentration diagram again you can see that these two component system are in the it, two component system consists of two phases one is solid another one is liquid so if you change the pressure the, if you change the pressure, the pressure change will be very small. So pressure change, pressure change remains almost constant. That's why the pressure is also constant for two component system. That's why you can see here a term is given here that is reduced phase rule. So here pressure is constant for temperature concentration diagram and it is on the on atmosphere. Thus we have to consider the reduced form of phase rule and this is equal to f prime is equal to c minus p plus 1 
So actually you know that the degree of freedom rule f is equal to c minus p plus 2 but here pressure is constant that's why you have to subtract by 1 and that is the final formula f prime is equal to c minus p plus 1. Now we have to know what are the types of two component phase diagram. Actually three types of two component systems are possible type 1, type 2 and type 3. Now you have to know what are the what are the different types of two component phase diagram. First you have to consider what are the characteristics, what are the main features of type 1 phase diagram. So first you can see the first point you have to consider two component and there are two component do not react with each, each other. So here the two components do not react with each other. Number two, another important point, the two components simply mix with each other in solution or in the molten state. Another important point, eutectic mixture. Here the two components form a, mute, a, a mixture that is called eutectic mixture. The definition is that the proportionate mixture of two or more components that melts or solidifies at a single temperature which is lower than the melting point of any components okay so this is the definition of eutectic mixture so what is the definition first you can see this is the highlighted point proportionate mixture it should be a proportionate mixture of two or more components that melts or solidifies at a single temperature and that temperature should be lower than the melting point of any component so this is the definition of eutectic mixture one example is given that is lead silver system and now we can see this is the drawing of type one phase diagram and you can see here this is as a uh, this is a temperature versus composition composition means it is the concentration curve okay so here in all cases the pressure is constant so here you can see this in, in this line a it is a pure a and in this line it represents this line represents pure b and this is the one curve this is the other curve this is the freezing point curve of a this is the freezing point curve of b these two curve meets here at that point this is called eutectic point this is the eutectic mixture here two phases are in equilibrium this is solid a and solid b here also two phases are in equilibrium one is liquid another one is solid a and here also two phases are in equilibrium one is liquid and another one is solid b later in the next lecture i told you i will tell you what is the features of type one diagram and how can you draw this diagram okay so now go to the next uh, phase diagram that is type two diagram so here it is the next one that what is the characteristics of type 2 phase diagram. Now we have to consider here the two components react with each other. The first case you can see last, last slide you see here they do not react with each other but here the two components react with each other. Okay so first point second point the two components form a compound which is stable up to its melting point. Okay so that two component will form a new compound a new compound will be produced here and that is stable up to its melting point so that is the next next point now what is the melting point called the melting point is called congruent melting point so it is the melting point of the new compound at this melting point it melts to give a liquid of the same composition as that of the solid compound so remember the term it is called congruent melting point means it is the stable melting point and at that melting point it melts to keep a liquid of the same composition remember the term same composition as that of the solid compound so this is called the congruent melting point example FeCl3 water system now see what is the drawing this side again this is the temperature versus composition curve 
and here you can see this is the pure A, this is the pure B. So this line represents pure A, this line represents pure B. It is the it is the melting point of pure A. And when you add B in A, you can see gradually the melting point of A decreases. And so this is the freezing point curve of A. And this is C here, this is a C point. At that point, you can see a new compound is formed. I told you that a new compound will form here. So this is the A, B compound, which is formed from A and B. And you can see it is the melting point of A, B compound. So this is a new compound. And this is the congruent melting point. Okay, so at that mel melting point, actually, it melts to give a liquid of same composition and as that of the solid compound. Okay, so this is the freezing point curve of AB. This is also the freezing point curve of AB, and this is the freezing point curve of B. Okay, so now in that area it is solid A plus solid AB. In that area it is solid B plus solid AB, and if the, in that area it is solid A plus liquid. Here it is solid AB plus liquid. Here also it is solid AB plus liquid. And you can see here, this is another area here, liquid B plus solid. In all area here, here, here all in this area, all are liquid. Okay, so this is type 2 phase diagram. Next, you have to know what is the characteristics of type 3 phase diagram. So, what is the main fact here? In the last slide, you can see two components react with each other. Here also, the first point two components react to each, with each other. This is the first point. Next, the important point, the two components form a compound. Here also you can see the two components form a compound which is not stable up to its melting point. So last slide, if you see the last slide, it forms a compound which is stable up to its melting point. But here you can see the two components form a compound which is not stable up to its melting point. Now, this new melting point is called incongruent melting point. This is unstable melting point. This is the melting point of the new compound. On heating, you can see on heating, it decomposes before its melting point. That is the most important point. It decomposes before its melting point to give a new solid phase. You can see a new solid phase and solution also. New solid phase and solution with composition different another important point with composition different from that of solid phase okay with composition different from that of solid phase so this is called incongruent melting point so again I remember on heating it decomposes before its melting point to give a new solid phase and solution with composition different from that of the solid phase so this reaction, the reaction at incongruent melting point is called peritectic reaction. So this is a new reaction. This is called peritectics, peritectic reaction. So what is the formula? What is the equation for peritectic reaction? That is C2. C2 is C2 is an equilibrium with C1 plus solution. So here you can see C2 is the new compound which is formed by two pure compounds. So here C2 actually is the new compound which is formed by two pure compounds say A and B. This A and B that, that reacts and forms a new compound that is C2. But as I told you that the C2, the melting point of, C, of the new compound is called the incongruent, incongru incongruent melting point. So actually at, this, at that melting point it decomposes. Okay and it gives a new solid phase the new solid phase is c1 and you can see it also give solution so new solid phase is c1 that c1 will be one of the pure component okay c1 is the one of the pure component and plus solution okay so this is the uh, peritectic reaction one example is given here that is sodium sulfate water system now what is the drawing what is the drawing what is the curve of phase 3 diagram here you can see this side again temperature this side is composition 
it is pure A, it is pure B, this A and B that reacts and forms a new compound AB2. Now this compound, the melting point of that compound is called incongruent melting point. That's that is not stable here. Okay, so this that is not stable here. So here you can see this side is solid A plus this area is solid A plus liquid. This area is solid AB2 plus liquid. This is solid B plus liquid. Here solid B in the whole area. Solid B plus AB2. Solid AB2. Here it is solid A plus solid AB2. This is the freezing point curve of A. This is the freezing point curve of B. Uh, sorry, freezing point curve of AB2. This is the freezing point curve of B. Here the area represents liquid. So the next uh, slide, next uh, top, next uh, lecture. I told you what is the. Uh, I will tell you what is the phase diagram of type one system. What is the phase diagram of type two system? And what are the characteristics? And I will tell you how to draw the phase diagram of type one, type two, and type three. Okay, thank you. Finally, my request to my students, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.